All right, it's the last set. It's Friday night. I did not do an update last night because as it was getting dark, I had deer pretty close. Um, nothing shootable after that shooter, but they were right on top of me right until I got out of the stand. There's actually a small buck that bedded right up the hill. And he scooted out. I got out of the stand pretty quiet, but he scooted out as I was walking up, so I wasn't worried about the stand. Um, this morning, again, no updates, because as soon as I got in, I pulled my bow up. It was still dark, um, but there was deer all over me this morning. I saw uh, a medium-sized four-point, a really big four-point, like a monster four-point. Um, probably one of the weirdest, wildest deer I ever saw. Both of those came down the same trail that the shooter came down last night behind me, and they were pretty quick and threw into the pines before I could get the camera on them. And then I saw a smaller four-point, um, which I have the video of that you'll see now. See now, he came through and right in front of me the trail that I wish the shooters and the big bucks would come down because that's where I have my best shots. Um, I probably should have sat all day. I think the rut finally started today. There was bucks moving right up until I think it was nine o'clock when I saw that deer. It was a pretty good morning sit, but there's more than one trophy and fish whose neck is broken, didn't make it out today because he wasn't feeling good with fishing. And he caught a five pound, 12 ounce bass at the pond at our Airbnb. So between him catching fish and being there drinking beers and it being 77 degrees without a cloud in the sky on November 5th or 6th, I was not going to miss that trophy. So at 9, 9.30 I got out of the tree, uh, went back with him, caught a bunch of fish, had some fun, drank some beers. What you got there, Buckle? Oh, what do you got there, Buckle? Jump it. <laughs> you got your, you got yourself a bass on the script. Got bass on my script. Woohoo! It's all right. Give that some bitch yeah, a kiss baby. there, Buckle. Yeah. And came back out here now at three o'clock. Um, if it wasn't for seeing that monster the last two nights at four o'clock from the stand, I would not have been out tonight. I would have just enjoyed the fishing and the weather. But with him being in this spot two nights in a row at four o'clock, I'm going to venture a guess or hope the laws of probability or whatever is in my favor and maybe he comes back tonight and this time he actually gives me a shot. Third time's a charm. So I'm here, meatballs out. Dan did do an all-day sit, but he does not have cell service, so we're not sure if he fell out of the tree stand and is dead, or if he's still sitting there hoping to see something. Um, we haven't heard from him all day, so we're pretty sure he hasn't got anything yet, because if he shot something, we think he would have come out and let us know. But where he's at, he doesn't have cell service. So it's a guessing game on where he's at and what he's doing, and if we don't see him by eight o'clock tonight, I guess we'll send out the search party and hunt him down. But. We said tonight's the last night, we're leaving tomorrow morning. So tonight is it for deer. I've, we'll see what we got. I'll let you know.
right now. Last 20 minutes, I had a four point come through. First time I ever had a deer respond to a grunt. Hit the field up top here. And I grunted a couple times and it came right back down, right towards me, stopped at 20 yards. Yeah, in a tree. Kept looking around, stayed there for almost 10 minutes. Then walked back up, didn't respond to grunts again. I didn't get the camera back on. So I heard other things coming. The other thing I heard coming was from my right. That was the raccoon. That got me all excited. I thought for sure it was the biggest deer I've ever seen ever, or heard ever. I just heard this coming through the woods. I thought for sure it was a deer. And I thought a really big squirrel. Nope, just a raccoon. Still pretty cool. Now I keep hearing squirrels in the trees. Nothing's come close enough to give me a shot because I'm going to take one of them if I get a chance. But I just heard a branch break. It's about time. It's 4.35 right now. The big one hasn't come out tonight, but hopefully decided to sleep in. We'll let you know. But he's fucking down. He's fucking down. I don't know if you got it or not, but he's fucking down. Fuck yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes! 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 But. <sighs> Fuck yeah. <sighs> I don't know if you guys got it or not, but this deer, I heard him coming from a while. I, uh, he stopped a ways out and I grunted a couple times and he started whacking his antlers on a tree. He was beating the best out of a tree. And I didn't have the camera on him because I couldn't, I couldn't get him in focus. He was too many tree branches in the way, but I could hear him and I could see it moving. I grunted a couple times and he, uh, every time I did that, he'd start hitting the tree harder. And he started walking towards me. And he went probably 10 yards and he stopped. And he turned up the hill, the opposite of what the big buck's been doing the last couple times. And he, uh, I grunted again and he started coming. 
And I think I had the camera on then, and I don't know if it was in focus or if you could see him or not. I had it zoomed out because I was more focused on getting him than I was at uh, at at getting it on film. And he stopped at 30 yards, and there's a scrape that he's quartered to me. And I tried to pull my bow because I've, I've cleaned a lane for this shot. I was ready for this shot. And uh, I cleared a lane for it, and I, I, I've been good for 30 yards, but he was quartering to me a little bit, and I tried to pull my bow, and I, <laughs> I couldn't get it pulled. <laughs> my heart was pumping. And as soon as I got it pulled, he uh, he moved and he's behind some, his vitals are behind a tree. So I had it pulled for, I don't know, a while. And then you can see me move the move the camera right before I shot. And that was with my, that was with it pulled back with the bow pulled. And I just hit that camera. I'm trying to get him in the camera view. And then he fucking come and he stopped it. I think it's 17 yards. And I had the pin on him and I did the bot like I did last night and this time he fucking stopped and I let it fly and he ran up the hill a little bit. He uh my arrow came out right here. I can see my arrow. I think it was a pass through and it was just hanging out the other side and we took off running. My arrow's there. And he uh I saw him fall. Somewhere right here. Saw him fall. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. Last night in Missouri. I got it, buddy. I got it. Yeah, I'm not gonna track it yet. I'm just gonna get my shit down. I'm just gonna give All it right. some time. But it, it ran, it ran like 20 yards and the arrow came out the opposite side. So it was a pass through. Perfect. And I could see the arrow and then it kept going, it probably went another 40 or 50 yards and, it, and I saw the tail come up and I saw it fall over and I saw it kicking. Did you do your interview on the tree yet? Yeah, and I'm recording this whole phone call. Oh, all right, Dude, I'm so fucking pumped right now. I, I'm like, you. I think I might fall out of the tree. Like, it's not huge, but it's definitely the biggest bow buck I ever saw. It. Dude, it's awesome, bro. It's a great deer. See ya. Uh, we're, we're getting in the truck, it's just a trap answer. We'll be there. All right, park there. We won't need the, we won't need the cart. We only got to drive. No, we'll drag it. Yeah, we'll drag it up to the top of the field, then we'll drive through the field when it's dark and come get it. Yep, copy that. All right. All right, brother. I'll Dude. Yes. Yes. Just wait for me to get there. All right. All right. All right. All right. Bye. Bye. Oh, right. yeah. Got some blood. <laughs> this is where I stopped him. That's my tree right there. Awesome. So it was right there. It was fucking perfect. He came right down this trail. But you can see the trail. It's a fucking highway. Yeah. But he splits right here, and it splits up there. It's a Y right here. So if you went that way, I'd never get a shot at him because he'd be way back there. It'd be like 40 yards and have way more trees to shoot at. But it's a Y right here, and that's the trail we keep walking down. And it's right there. Right there. So right here. That's where I shot him. That's and where I saw off. the, the six-pointer was sitting there eating his grass and stuff yeah. when I was Well, there. I put that right there is where the deer dander spray is on that leaf, but he never stopped at that. Unless that's why he turned. Like maybe he heard me and he smelt that and he turned. The deer dander's right there. Look, there's a the trip. Blood right there. Look at that blood. He's gushing. He's yeah. leaking. Oh boy. There it is. But this light, you can see it's good. Bowling out both sides. Gushing it. Look at that. Jesus. That's only fucking three yards after a shot. Hey, look at it all over, Buckle. He's leaking. Look. Oh. Look at this. You must have hit him right in the heart, Buckle. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, both sides on the tree, too. Yeah. The buffalo did a good, yeah. We're going to leave right to Well, I guess we don't have to see if there's blood on the arrow. There's blood on the arrow. Rage in the cage, bubble. Bubbles. Bubbles in it. It's either lung or uh, that's lung. Lung or a little heart. Long. All right, let's keep following her. Look at this tree. He's just blowing out. These are the freaking black trees we dream about. Exactly.
Don't get on your hands and knees tonight, sir. <laughs> I know, right? Well, let's keep this part up. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez. All right. He's got to be right here somewhere. I think I see his rack right there. Oh, shit, Buck. That's a good one. That's a nice one. All right. I'm going under. Under feet, though? Thank you. Yeah, I can see oh. The oh, shit. It's tied together. Oh. All right. Well, that's a tree. Go, fish. Follow that. It's right here. I racked at the tree. We got more blood in here. He runs right down the steps. We still got good blood. Can you guys see? Let him catch up. What do you, what do you think we've gone? 30 yards? 40 yards? There he is. Hold on, buckle. Here I come. Oh, you got a broken one. The 10 point for the broken one. Yes. Beautiful. But that's the one we've been seeing, ain't it? The 10 we've been seeing? There you go. Oh, Billy Bell Buck. I wish you didn't break. That was a broken we saw him the other time. Uh, so you that's shot your. Like Look at that shot, though. Nice. That's the entrance right there. Open it's a little right high. Oh. Don't the one's in the meatball's ass. he been rubbing today. Yep. Oh, well, he's kicking the shit out of the trees. He walked right down the street. He walked, ran out the same way he ran in. Nice. Good job, buddy. Hold on. Can you get a picture? Here we go. Nothing. Look at that smile. Put it up. Dude, I saw Pump. him drop right here. He was Bam. dead 10 seconds after I shot him. That's sweet. He ain't the biggest deer in the world. Look up one more time. Biggest bow buck. By far the biggest bow buck. Two, four, ten. Second biggest deer ever shot. Nine and a half. Look at him tear up the tree, though. Oh, he was tearing up trees the whole way in. He came right down the trail. He walked that way. You'll probably see the trees he dragged oh, tear off. Christ. You want me to go get that bag? We didn't even think of that. Bag. We'll the gut bag. There. It's only 40 yards. Why, you can't leave gut piles here? You can smell them. That's a good shot there. It sure is. That was his entrance. Where the fuck's his exit? He blown it out his nose, so. Yeah, you blowing it everywhere, dude. Yeah. You blood like a stuffed pig. Oh, God. Perfect. You either yeah, got the lungs, right you got the lungs and the heart. Yep. Yotes want to come look up to you. Yeah, stuff. they want some of that. It must have came out right in my shoulder. Should have a pretty good hold there. It it's got to be right there. There right it there. is. Right behind the shoulder, yeah, heart and lungs. Yep, perfect. All right, let's get them over the uh, fence line. Yes. Someone want to go back and get the backpack and take care of it, or? Yeah, both. Hammer. Rage in the cage. Thank God. You're up. Not going home empty handed. Oh, that log worked out perfectly for me. 